Autism Awareness Month was met with an abundance of activities and events that advocate for its acceptance, promote inclusivity, and to celebrate the differences in those who are on the spectrum. Love News spoke with the chair of Autism Belize, Christy Almeida, who stated that although the month is coming to an end, the community should continue showing support. It felt really good that there was a desire to learn and inviting us in. And then there was also that next level where they wanted to participate and engage. So it wasn't just about, hey, this is what autism is. This is, you know, how you can help. But they were like, we want to help and we want to come out for that. Um, so that I feel like um, took this month, this year to a whole different level. And I didn't expect that we would get to that level so fast. I thought it would be another year of just sort of talking myself over and over again um, for it. But now it was like, hey, no, we want to come and do. And I think it accumulates really well with how we're ending the month because we're doing our run, walk, crawl, dance um, across the country. And this was the same thing. It's all the town and city councils from Benke, Cayo, Belmapan, Dangriga, Punta Gorda, Corozal, Orange Walk, San Pedro, um, Belize, everyone's gotten involved. All their counselors with responsible for persons with disabilities has been working with Autism Belize to organize the events on April 30th. So in every district on Saturday, there will be a walk, a run um, through the streets to show, you know, uh, they're autism aware and that you come out and support and engaging the community as well. Almeida further highlighted that continuous engagement is important since autism isn't a condition that can be cured. In conclusion of the month, communities around the country will be hosting a series of events. I would love everyone to come out on April 30th and participate. There's no excuses. You're in Punta Gorda, there's a walk at 6 p.m. You're in San Pedro, they have a parade and a fair at 1 p.m. Every, something is happening in every part of this country. So there's no excuse. Get up, put on a blue shirt because blue is a color for autism and nothing else. And just come and walk and support. You know, we're not asking for anything major. We just want everyone to come out. We'll be giving flyers out um, with information about autism and, and what Autism Belize is doing. So it is going to be infor um, informative too. Um, but yeah, come out and show support. Let's, let's show these families that you want them to be included and there's no reason for them to lock up behind closed doors. There's nothing for us to be ashamed of. Throughout April, Almeida has been hosting a series of training sessions to educate parents and caregivers on how to cater to the needs of their children. Everyone is seeking assistance on how can we work, especially with our younger ones, um, for it. And so actually we're gonna continue this, not for April, but for May. We The first week in May, next week, we launch um, the our Baby Steps Early Intervention Series, where it's seven trainings in seven weeks one at one every week and we broke them out small so it's not too complicated so our daycare provider and nannies are in the household can sign up for it again free um really to try and address some of these concerns that have come up through the talks th because we're back in school now um so hopefully we can at least arm our parents our daycare providers or preschool teachers with some strategies and interventions that they can do to help work with our young ones who we all know have fallen behind.